I'm mixing poppy seed, cloves, cut, uh, cinnamon, and fennel together. And then when I get it all crushed up, I add, add the peanuts, and then it'll be kind of a peanut butter. Just want to say, out of all the containers I've been mainly using, I've been using these peanuts containers for reusing. I got cinnamon in here. I always I keep a variety of things. I've refilled this several times. I mean, this is poppy seed. Whatever. I use these containers the most. And I'm sitting on these silly things. I bought these, but I don't really use them. I don't. I don't really like them. I don't like them as much as these things. These things are very convenient to just reuse over and over. They're doing some kind of work in here. Wow, look at that. They got the helmets and everything. What does it say? Oh, no glass. The rules. Ah, how about the shop? The pavilion shop. <laughs> Parks and Recreation. <clears throat> Laughter is an instant vacation. Hmm. Interesting. recording this because I'm shocked that there's still snow but that's the way patch is a little shock of snow at 7:30 a.m. <clears throat> it hasn't melted yet All right. I just want to comment that I, I think that dog struck a nerve on this <clears throat> injury because every so often I get this weird nerve twitch in the muscle or something that dog got his tooth in there really deeply I much prefer the snow over rain. <laughs> and I just watched this egret pick up a piece of straw and bring it over to this spot. That's the egret right there. Looks like these tower things are designed for the egrets. I don't see any other purpose for them. There's three of them. Sunbeam, Minx, what is this, some kind of a European car? Automatic Minx, that's pretty cool. Alright, so this is the giving plate. <clears throat> I've never seen their chicks so tiny before. never been there. Look at this crowd of people. <laughs> They're all watching the surfers. Okay, yeah, kids' corner. I just couldn't really read that. Well, we're the only one in Oregon that has a kids' booth, 
Yeah, yeah, okay. And we haven't You're found the only one, one. We and... haven't found one anywhere. Uh, yeah, I've never heard of them. Kids, kids corner for, yeah, just only for kids. Yeah. Okay. And you try to not to give them too sugary of snacks and all that so stuff. Most of the stuff is you, you, nutritious. You yeah, make, there's yeah. a few. There's a few. Uh, you, make, you make sure they don't get all that candy and stuff they could just buy at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Or not the grocery, at the gas stations. That's all they sell. Is, yeah, it's candy. And stuff. Yeah, no, we need some good, we have fresh fruit. We have okay. Good stuff. Okay. So, yeah. Well, I mean, you got the design for it, so you can take advantage of it. You got the yeah, We actually got to raise the money to build a second floor. We're expanding it, so that we're going yeah. to build a second floor. All was the uh, was was this building designed for the food bank no, originally? No. 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 Originally, okay. This was but a your carpet warehouse. Carpet warehouse. Okay. Way back when. But you guys are able to raise money for an expansion. So, so we moved into here. We've been, my husband and I founded this eight years ago. Oh, you're the founder? Mm -hmm. Kelso? Yep. Okay. They couldn't call themselves Bend Instruments, so they chose Dent Instruments instead, which sounds about the same. I stopped at the Giving Plates, open on what, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and all that. Some pretty good choices. I like this one. I think I, I talked to the head lady and she was like, she she said she started the, the giving plate. Uh, I forget when, but she's giving me some details on the changes and all that. Um, she tried a shopping style, <clears throat> but it got too crowded and they just had to revert to the box style or whatever the the handout style. And it's just by by design and all that. So I I didn't choose everything once again. They she had they had me fill out a list and and then uh, they brought the stuff out and not knowing exactly what to expect, I just choose chose the the minimum. The non non sugary following a diabetic plan. I'll accept this tuna with the the oil. It looks it looks like it might be pretty good. <clears throat> Another sweet potato, but it's the white kind. I really prefer those orange sweet potatoes. Tomato and pears. <clears throat> Apple. I got somebody kind of watching me. It's kind of annoying. I'm gonna have to eat these grapes right away. So, if you look at the statistics they had presented, it's like, you see such a massive increase in, in numbers, it's, it's uh, something else. I can't tell if these runners are running in a circle or if they're all new runners. I don't understand it, but it I could confidently say over half the women here look attractive and it's not so much a genetic thing it's like a mechanical thing they're doing something to get in shape around here that's unique it, it could be the environment it could be the dryness of the climate I don't know but it's it's a huge difference between here and the coast most impressive to me is the their, the butts and calves I mean, the ones on the coast are just weak, but around here, it's more moderate to strong. I really need to know what they're doing around here to keep in better shape than the, uh, the other cities. What's going on around here? 
does seem to get extra windy around here as opposed to extra rainy in, in Eugene.